P prime of T is equal to limit as delta T goes to zero. P of t, delta T, T plus delta T minus P of T over delta T. So P prime of T is equal to we distribute 40 over 3 T squared. Limit as delta T goes to 0, 40 over 3 T, T my square whole square my, minus minus 40 over 3 T square delta T. So P prime of T is equal to limit as delta T goes to zero. B square whole square is equal to <coughs> A square plus two A B plus B square. Let's go back. So forty over over three T T square plus two T delta T plus T square minus four forty over three T square. T is equal to limit as delta T goes to zero. 40 over 3 t squared dd over 3 t delta t that's 40 over 3 t squared that's 40 over 3 t squared Plus 40 over 3 t squared minus 43 over 3 t squared cancel over delta t. That's p prime of t is equal to limit as delta t goes to zero. 80 80 over 3 t delta t plus 40 over 3 t over delta t. So we factor out delta t. P prime of t is equal to limit as delta t goes to zero. Delta t, 80 over three, prime of t equal to limit as delta t go close to zero. Delta T he, 80 over 3 T plus 40 over 3 Delta T over Delta T. Delta T, Delta T cancel. P prime of T equal to limit that Delta T goes to zero. 80 over 3 T plus 40 over 3 Delta T. 40 over 3 Delta T goes to zero. 
So P prime of 1.22 is equal to 80 over 3 times 1.22, which is equal to 32. And my father was still a math student, so he always had a calculus book on him at all times. I did not understand anything in that calculus book. But every time I would or could, I would try to go up and touch it. Like maybe Eve touching the forbidden fruit. And every time I did, my father took me out of the room and gave me all my toy cars and my cold wheels. But one day, my father was not home. And for the first time in six months, he did not take the calculus book with him. So, I pounced on the opportunity and I ripped out a few pages from the book. I was so excited about it. I, I looked to see what I had just obtained. And it was a mystical jungle, a forest, an ecosystem of equations, symbols, and variables all living in harmony. Of course, it was too complex for my tiny little brain to understand. But I was still so fascinated on it that I decided to try and transcribe the f sacred text on the calculus book into a blackboard. When my father arrived home that night, he saw those uh, ripped out pages uh, neatly tucked right into the book. He first suspected my elder brother, Rifat, for doing such a despicable accident. But then, when I confessed that it was me, and I showed him the blackboard, instead of getting angry, he cried tears of joy. And from that day on, he tried to encourage me to learn calculus.